While you're packing for your big backpacking adventure, there are some essential items that you should consider packing, and I'll tell you more after this. Hey, I'm Marauding Megs, and it's great to see you. So the first item you should consider packing is definitely a reusable water bottle, okay? So make sure you choose a water bottle that satisfies your water requirements. For example, if you drink tons of water like I do, and make sure that it's leak proof, okay? This comes in handy when you have to stuff your filled water bottle into your bag of stuff, and you don't have to worry about it getting soaked or waterlogged. So the next item is a sarong. So you can use this as a bath towel, beach towel, or even an outfit. It can convert into a dress or a skirt, or you can use it as a privacy drape. So if you're in a hostel and you're sharing a room with a bunch of people, typically they have bunk beds. So if you happen to snatch the bottom bunk, you can just tuck the, for this part here underneath the, for the top mattress there. And so it drapes down and gives you privacy which is excellent. I've actually used this um, many, many times when I've been traveling. Now, if a sarong is not for you, or you need something just a bit, a little bit extra than a sarong, I would consider bringing a micro, quick dry microfiber towel, okay? So it's not as, quite as big as a sarong, you can't use it as an outfit, but it does serve this kind of the same purpose. So you can use it as an alternative or in addition to the sarong itself. The next items are hats, okay? So when I went traveling, I typically wore my Tilly hat because it gave me more protection from the sun because I burn very easily. So I was trying to just to protect myself. Um, but some days I did wear my baseball cap. So it just depends on what you feel like wearing that day. If you only have one hat that's like your favorite hat that you want to wear, that's fine. You can just pack that. I pack two just in case I lose my favorite one. All right. Okay. So sunscreen is the next item. If you need a higher SPF like I do, um, you're gonna have to bring a good supply with you depending on how long you're gonna be traveling, okay? So depending on where you go traveling, um, the locals there won't have a high SPF, which is terrible for people who are prone to sunburns, okay? I mean, 15 S SPF, what is that? What is that? Are you serious? Are you serious? This is, it, it won't even do anything for, you know what? I'm a snowflake, I'm a snowflake. I will melt. 15 SPF, are you serious? So. Bring a good supply of sunscreen with whatever your SPF is. Mine is 60. If I could get higher, I would. And uh, just bring a good supply with you. Aloe, a must have if you burn because it's going to happen at least once. Talking from experience. Duct tape because things happen. Okay, so a flashlight or a headlamp is very, very helpful especially if you're walking around at night and there aren't any street lamps and you can't really see, or if you walk into a dorm room full of people and it's at night, but you need a light, use your head headlamp. Mine uh, in particular has different light functions. So I'm just gonna show you here. So this one's for outside. And then there's this one is for indoors. I've used this a couple times because I needed to see, see something around my bed or go to my locker. And this doesn't disturb people as much as the bright light one. And there's also one more on here, just in case you need a signal for help. I haven't had to use it, but at least it's there if I need it. Advil or any ibuprofen that you prefer. It's just good to have just in case you have a headache or something else that has happened. Just good to have in general. Oh, nail clippers, nail file, and tweezers. These are very helpful when you're traveling, uh, just to keep your nails short and clean. But also tweezers are helpful for those splinters or those hard to get areas. Um, personally, it was sort of splinters. And it's just great to have. I mean, if you have a broken toenail and you're sleeping in bed and it keeps catching on the sheets and gives and just feels really bad. So it's just easier instead of trying to rip it off, just use nail clippers. It's very helpful. Hand sanitizer, absolutely necessary. I can't stress this enough. Um, because most public washrooms do not have hand soap, so you gotta have something to keep your hands relatively clean. And it's just great to have on the go because you never know what you're gonna get up to. Kleenex, you may have to use it as toilet paper because not all public washrooms have toilet paper provided for everyone. Combination lock is another absolute must. It is very important to have a combination lock to lock up your valuables in a hostel and also your backpack. 
Now I don't recommend a lock and key because it's quite easy to lose the key and then you were screwed. A waterproof or water resistant watch with alarm capabilities uh, that can take rough adventure that is backpacking, okay? So I don't wanna worry about it getting scratched, banged up or wet, unlike my Fitbit, okay? So knowing what I know about backpacking, I know I would never bring my Fitbit, even if I had one at the time, but I would worry about it banging up, getting it wet, having to charge it, and then having to sync it with my phone. It would just be a huge hassle that I just don't need. So I know I would leave it at home, but that's just my opinion. An eye mask, which is helpful when you're traveling either on bus, airplane, or even staying in a hostel, especially if you're in a hostel dorm room with a lot of people and they're coming and going and that's just fine. But when it's late at night and they decide to turn on the room light and wake up everybody, you will have an eye mask to safeguard your sleep. So something to consider. Laundry detergent. Now, personally, I didn't have to pack laundry detergent because uh, there was laundry services available on the cheap, uh, especially through Southeast Asia. But when I was speaking to another traveler friend of mine, he mentioned that if you're traveling through Europe, you're definitely going to need laundry detergent because you will be cleaning your own clothes. Well, that's the end of my list. Now, do you have any essential items that you pack on your travels? Or do you think there's something missing on my list that should be on there? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to try something new. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.